Today in the news, we add another variant for Nvidia's GPU lineup, and AMD is starting to think green. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with Nvidia. Despite the lack of availability in the public, the company is still testing out GPUs internally. Of course, I'm talking about the RTX 3080 Ti, or whatever they decide to call it in the end. Late last year, after the release of the RTX 30 series and the uh, 6000 series from AMD, rumors started popping up about an RTX 3080 with twice the VRAM. Originally, the specs were similar to the original RTX 3080, but things changed as time passed. Eventually, the rumors of this higher end RTX RTX 3080 settled at the same CUDA core count as the RTX 3090, that's 82 SMs for 10,496 CUDA cores and 20 gigabytes of GDDR6X. Well, it looks like Nvidia is still tinkering with this model since a new spec has just popped up. According to copite 7 kimmy over on Twitter, who leaked a multitude of juicy information, the RTX 3080 Ti would actually be a tiny bit less powerful than the previous leaks. It would feature 80 SMs, so two fewer than the RTX 3090, that brings the total to 10,240 CUDA cores, and it would be equipped with 12 gigabytes of GDDR6X memory. It's still quite a bump when compared to the original RTX 3080, which has 15% less CUDA cores than the leaked or rumored specs. As is, the difference in performance will likely be smaller since the RTX 3080 and 3090 are already very close to each other, about 10%. As for the release date, we don't have an exact date, but the current time frame is said to be in April. Also with Nvidia, the company made a good move. Last week, we talked about the insanity that is the RTX 3000 series of laptop GPUs. Well, thankfully, a spokesperson for the company issued a statement to The Verge saying that they're requiring OEMs to update their product pages to the Max-Q technology features for each GeForce laptops, as well as clocks and power, which communicates the expected GPU performance in that system. I've gotta say, thank you Nvidia because otherwise the GPU market in laptops would have been a total mess. I mean, technically it still is. For example, this Dash Tough from Asus or this Razer Blade 15 still don't show this information on their retail webpage and they're not the only ones. Asus does have an exhaustive list showing the list of laptops with the GPU's info though. Lastly, with Nvidia, we got the dates for their GPU technology conference, that's GTC 21. While in the last two years before the pandemic, the events happened in March, this year it will be in April. The keynote itself with Jensen will happen on the 12th at 8.30 Pacific time, and the event will continue until the 16th of April. As expected, the event will be held 100% online since, well, we're still in the midst of a pandemic. I mean, I gotta get home by 8 o'clock at night if I don't want to get hit with a $1,500 fine in Quebec. Moving on, let's talk AMD. Thanks to the recent price hikes, some of us are patiently waiting for AMD to reveal their more affordable mid-range GPUs. That's the RX 6700 series and below. Well, we got a little more information on these. As you might already know, the RX 6700 XT would have 12 gigabytes of GDDR6. For the new information though, it looks like this large pool of VRAM will also be available for the RX 6600 XT. If you think about it, Logically, that means that if AMD was to release an RX 6700 non-XT, it would have 12 gigabytes too, right? Right? Well, according to a recent EEC filing from ASRock, AMD is pulling an NVIDIA with wacky VRAM configs. The RX 6700 would feature 6 gigabytes of GDDR6. Yep six gigabytes. Now, EEC filings can be deceiving. Back in the RX 5000 series, Sapphire filed for anything from an RX 590 XT to an RX 5950 XT. The only thing that makes this ASRock filing a little more legit is the use of their Challenger and Phantom naming scheme within the filing. Anyways guys, that's pretty much it for the catch up. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about my finger or uh, today's stories. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here. Subscribe to the channel, stay frosty with dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Rolling them dice, I love it, I love it, I'm fine.
canvas for faces I'm painting these pictures of mine Rolling them dice I love it, I love it, I'm fine